Okay, I've got a 2004 DRZ 400E model that I bought last November, brand new. Four, th four grand out the door. Uh, just finished the street conversion. Got the uh, edge taillight on there I bought from Forrest at Wheeling with the uh, DRC directionals on the back. Took off the under the stock under fender, put the speed clips on the edge piece right there and turned the screws around and bolted it right to that and then screwed it down through the top. So I just have two screws up there. Wired it up through the stock location up through there. Um, up here we've got the HDB uh, handlebar clamp and the vapor, the Trailtech vapor um, uh, holder, I guess you call it. Custom modified the HDB handlebar clamp to uh, hold the uh, to make a custom dashboard kind of with my directional indicators and a high beam indicator. And I left the last hole for the for the tube. Got the Scotts. Uh, sub mount steering stabilizer on there with the Scott's triple clamp and the risers. It worked out really well because this bike needs a little bit of rise for me. I uh, used the DRC dual sport kit. Uh, yeah, listen to this horn. You ready for this? Yeah, that's the horn. Mm hmm. Gotta change that. Got the uh, DRC, I think they're DRC mirrors. Got the Zeta handguards from Forest with the directional indicators in them. Uh, the stock E headlight actually is dual filament, so it worked for high beam, low beam. So, I'm with the high beam indicator on there too. <clears throat> Took off the big accordion boots and put the uh, I think they're moose racing on there. Got the pickup for the speedometer down here. I got the Zeta Speedo um, removal kit there, that little piece. Tried to put on the Unibiker um, radiator guards. Didn't work. Need a little more modification to get those to work. And that's about it. It's street legal now. I bought a, a, a 2001 S model frame and uh, title and riveted the uh, riveted that onto there so it's registered as a 2001 S model and just did a couple things the MSR plus one shifter thumper talk case guards you know this one had the FCR on it stock I still got to put the uh, street legal knobs on there, but I know somebody that'll inspect it without them, so it should be okay. And just took out the uh, muffler. I know took out the spark ruster, kind of a hack job, but I know it doesn't help with power, but it makes it sound a little better. So I think that's about it. I'm on the road, street legal. Put the key up under here too. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, just uh, the ignition key wouldn't fit. Um, this gap from here to here was bigger. I mounted it. I mounted it through the handguard and then drilled and tapped a hole right there in the in the mount. So that uh, the ignition the key is nice and tucked away under there. Sounds pretty good now too with the probably gonna get the power bomb or the, the MRD SSW exhaust. <laughs>